retired GM engineer, 42 years designing trucks. He told me something that gave me chills. GMT 800 was the last time we built without watching the clock. We just wanted to make the best truck possible. Stay till the end, because 1999 to 2006 was the golden era that will never come back. If you drive a GMT 800, subscribe now. Comment GMT 800 legend with your year. Let's celebrate together. First reason, GMT 800 was over-engineered on purpose. Orders were, make it durable, don't cut corners, he told me. It was 1997, GM wanted to prove something. Frame, more robust than necessary. Suspension, tested for 750,000 miles. He showed me old blueprints, steel 30% thicker than required, because we could. No shareholder pressure, no financial crisis, just pride. Today, we build for cost. In 1999, we built for legacy. Second reason, GMT 800 caught the best of both worlds. Enough technology to be modern, enough simplicity to be reliable. Electronic fuel injection, yes, but tested. ABS, yes, but simple. No cameras, no excessive sensors, no computers for everything. A good mechanic fixes GMT 800 anywhere in the world. New ones? Only with $50,000 equipment. And GMT 800 parts are eternal. They made millions. Third reason, GMT 800 was GM's last honest truck. 2007 onwards, the pressure started. Reduce weight, save fuel, cut costs. But GMT 800, zero compromise. Heavy because it was supposed to be. Strong because it was supposed to be. Executives let engineers do the work. After 2006, accountants started calling the shots. Today we optimize for numbers. GMT 800 was optimized to last. If you're proud of your GMT 800, drop a like. Still got three reasons that'll move you. Fourth reason, GMT 800 used materials that today are too expensive. High strength steel and places nobody sees. Today, aluminum and plastic to save money. He compared doors. GMT 800 is 40% heavier. Why? Solid steel. Close the store. Sound? Firm. Now a new one. Sound? Hollow. Even bolts were different. We bought German bolts. Cost more, lasted forever. GMT 800 was built when quality mattered more than profit. GMT 800 was tortured in testing. We ran prototypes for 500,000 miles before production. Arizona, Alaska, mountains, deserts. One GMT 800 was tested towing 10,000 pounds for 200,000 miles without failure. Today, tests are 100,000 miles. Computers simulate the rest. We didn't trust computers. We trusted real torture. GMT 800 was the last time GM truly cared. After 2008 came bankruptcy. Everything changed, but GMT 800 made before the collapse. Era of confident GM, proud GM. We'd walk into the factory and see posters, build the best, not build the cheapest. Employees had pride. Engineers had freedom. My son asks, Dad, why keep a GMT 800 stored? I answer, because I'll never see one like this again. GMT 800 wasn't just a truck. It was a statement. And they never repeated it. If you own a GMT 800, you have purposeful over-engineering. You have the best of both worlds. You have honest design. You have superior materials. You have extreme testing. And you have the last time GM truly cared. GMT 800 wasn't just good, it was perfect. Do you own a GMT 800? Comment GMT 800 legend with your year and mileage. Know someone with 1999 to 2006? Share this. This generation deserves celebration. Like if you understand GMT 800 was special. Next week, why GMT 800 will outlast new ones. You don't just have an old truck, you have an artifact from an era that ended. Take care of it. They did it right, and they'll never do it like this again. See you next time, GMT 800 family.